Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And today we start a new series on the channel. Today we're gonna be reacting to Animation vs Minecraft. This is a video made by Alan Becker and we have also reacted to Alan Becker in the past with his previous works. We have seen and recorded Animation vs Animator 3 and 4. So if you guys want to, you guys can check those videos out, they will be linked down below and you can also find them in the channel. And did you guys know that this series that we're starting right now is actually the second new series coming out today? Yes, we have also started reacting to Heavy and Subnautica Below Zero, which is a series made by HighGamer808. And even beyond that, we have also a new episode of our Brazilian podcast coming out Saturday, which will be featuring HighGamer himself. So yeah, a lot of new things coming out uh, this week and for Christmas too, we'll also have our Christmas Unbox. So if you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing. If you guys can leave a like on the video, that would be amazing. And yeah, for this week, we're going to be having at least two reactions every day. One of them being for High Gamer 808, uh, Heavy and Subnautica Below Zero. And also we're going to have the Animation vs Minecraft episodes coming at least once a day for the rest of this week until Christmas. Guys, there are a lot of things coming out. The series about Heavy and Subnautica, this series of Minecraft vs Animation, and uh, also the Christmas Unbox and the Episode 3 of our Brazilians podcast. So if you guys could, please go check out the, those other series, check out the other videos in the channel, and uh, just be sure to have fun. Remember to give a like to the original video that will be linked down below. Always watch and give a like to the original video first. And beyond that, I just hope you guys are good. I hope you guys have a very nice Christmas time. And beyond that, I think we're ready. I have talked too much. So without further ado, I'm ready and let's go. Oh, sorry, wrong button. I remember when I started playing Minecraft, I felt just like Orange Guy right here. It was just such a blast and your creativity goes wild when you start to discover things. It's amazing. One thing that is also incredible about Alan Becker's style of animating and editing is that he can give such a purpose and meaning and characteristic to each character. Like Orange of course had to take a lead on introducing the blog that he just discovered to your, to his friend. But uh, with each and every new episode that comes out it's incredible to see the personalities of uh, each stick figure also be revealed and also to flourish more. And also it's so creative how ju he just implements how the Minecraft blocks interact with the world around them. That and also the stick figures. If you guys have seen Animation vs Animator, which uh, I very much think you guys have if you guys are here right now, it's incredible. I would never be able to build such a magnificent construction like that. I am a more of a dwarf guy, I just start building things and digging tunnels on Minecraft. Also, it's very impressive that each and every one of them already knows about all the recipes. Oh, I'm starting to remember where all of this story goes.
It's kind of weird to think that this series had, has come out such a long time ago. It has started, I think, over maybe three years from now, or maybe at least four years, maybe. And it's incredible to think that I was there when it came out. I have watched it. Many of the Minecraft vs. Animation and other Alan Becker's works, I have seen it. But it's also impressive to just be able to remember those times, you know? I have said in previous videos when we reacted to Crush Mall. If you guys don't know who Crush Mall is, he's a SFM animator. You guys can search him. It's a very, very pleasant channel to watch. There are some amazing pieces of content there. And uh, I have said previously that Alan Becker, he mastered the uh, combat sequences. He is not, not so different from Alan Becker, but Alan Becker has dominated like 2D storytelling and the uh, world interaction. I cannot imagine how many hours it took to animate uh, at least uh, one minute of this, it's amazing. Also to figure out uh, how all of the objects and the creatures interact and would just move around and interact with those objects, it's pure art, honestly. My diamonds. Oh, I remember this sequence. He's gonna start building the diamonds and he's gonna start throwing to each and every one of them and they're gonna start wearing them. See, this is what I meant when I said that Alan Becker dominated and mastered uh, 2D storytelling and uh, animation because look at this. Can you guys imagine just how long it took to maybe define each character to be able to make them interact with everything that they're interacting on screen? That is just amazing. Also, it's very creative. Yeah, I think it's now. Yeah, he's gonna start throwing everything to everyone. That is just beautiful. I wonder also how big is this animation crew right now, if it has any. Because just the same with Kaz Vanderpool, also you guys can uh, check him out. Uh, Kaz, I think he started off basically alone on his YouTube channel. And then when he started to grow up, he started to have more people just helping him. And also he had more financial resources to be able to hire more animators to help him. Which is something also very nice to see the progression of an animator on YouTube. That's very amazing. But imagine how long it must take to build one of these. It would be nice to know how big uh, Alan Becker crew is as of today. Also, the editing of the camera angle is amazing because I imagine all of that must be must be animated at the same time. I do not know how many, how much longer those continuous animations format like, but it's just amazing to think that they might also be happening at the same time, and it's just the camera angle not showing everything. It's amazing. Also, the sheer creativity about uh, just the interaction of, with the world that I said previously is mind-blowing, honestly. I kinda miss the old sounds from Minecraft, like the TNT explosion sound. Since I reacted to Rising Kingdom from Captain Sparkles, I've gotten a little nostalgic, to say the least. Because the old sound from Minecraft, like from TNT, the explosion of the mobs and also just the walking and the damage from Steve is just so nostalgic to me. Ew. How did you not see that yellow? I did not remember that happened, but 
That was very nice. Where would the nether be on a computer? Would it be like in a hard drive maybe? Nice save. Too bad they didn't get a chance to farm. Yeah, they should have definitely farmed some potatoes. If you could, if they had, the, they definitely had the resources to cook all of the potatoes. That would be a way more nutritious source of uh, health. I remember that. I wonder uh, how long have uh, Alan Becker played Minecraft before this? Because a lot of this whole interaction with the world that he is able to provide is very accurate to how it feels to play Minecraft. I have played Minecraft since I was around 13, so maybe around 2013, the end of 2012. I wonder if, how, for how long he had played Minecraft before starting this whole series. Oh. It's so smooth while everything is going on. I think uh, animation, versus anima uh, animation versus animator and also Minecraft versus animation is just such a, a enjoyable thing to watch because it's also very smooth. I wonder whatever happened to those emojis. When I, I think I think that we never saw them again in any Minecraft episode. If I remember correctly, they can respawn. I do not know how Alan Becker, I don't remember if I saw any episode uh, many years ago about uh, how Alan Becker deal with uh, 
uh, the deletion of the characters and while well, in the computer, or if I had, if or if I had ever watched a video where they would uh, die in Minecraft style. But uh, it's also very interesting to think that uh, they are very much aware, maybe about their own self mortality and do not know Minecraft, so they're not taking any chances. Also, Orange is looking like a wizard right now with that uh, stick. That was kind of loud for me. I'm sorry to use these new. Uh... Actually, they, they are my old uh, headphones. I've been trying to use them to avoid the cropping from the headset, but it also makes everything very much loud. Is nice. Let's see if there is nothing else to check. Okay. Very much quickly, I would like to just see how big was the crew of Alan Becker to, to this video. So, the director was Alan Becker. Okay. Okay, Diamond Armor Animation Assistances, Michael, David, Trung, Afel, Andy, Cyrus, Sally Flip, and Andres. It's very much impressive that uh, he had a very big crew. And I like the background song. And also, I think here's the thank you for the patrons. So let's go back to the, the end. It was so nostalgic to be able to watch this again. Really. I watched this very closely to when it came out. And it was just uh, very fun to watch it. Alan Becker's videos, I think they are very nice in a way because they take a subject, Minecraft, which is already almost an you know, universal language to all of those who play it because you do not need it to you do not need to know for example English to be able to play the game most likely will have your language you just need the game to play and since it's a mute game it just fits perfectly with all the characteristics of Alan Becker's content about showing and not uh, telling you know a show that is able to demonstrate so much emotion from just a uh, 16 minutes with five stick figures is very much impressive. I hope that Alan is doing well these days. I think he is still working very strong, I believe. I don't remember what was the date of his last video, but I think he's still doing this and Minecraft series. But guys, thanks so much for coming. I hope that you guys can check all the new series and all the new videos coming out on the channel. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have been given. 
there's a lot of upgrades that I've done recently on the channel and uh, thanks, thank you for checking the channel out uh, just now. Thank you for you who stayed with the channel while I was uh, not posting videos. And uh, thank you for just enjoying this time with me. It's been very amazing. So if you can, remember, a like to the original video, give a like for Alan. A like on maybe on the other videos, check out what you want to see on the channel and what's new. We have our, the, our Brazilian podcast coming out every Saturday. Episode 3 is coming out this Saturday. We have the Subnautica Below Zero and uh, we have this series now. I hope to be able to keep up with at least 3 videos a day. So I hope to see you guys next time. Okay? And until then, I hope you guys are doing good. Hope to see you guys again. And bye! <music>